Hello, I'm Bird, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of my Rebuild with Derby County. As always, thanks for joining me. Make sure you smash that like button if you're enjoying the series and whatever I do. Uh, subscribe if you're new, that's massively appreciated. I'm on the road to 14k subscribers and I'm less than 100 away, so if that's one of you guys, thank you very much. Uh, make sure you go and check out on the content. And if you really want to help my channel out, you can always become a patron. You'll find a link to that and loads of other crap down below in the description. Now, Season 2, we're in the Prem. I knew this squad was good. There's a lot of young talent here. Um, and I believe, you know, I played a game. I didn't think we'd go up second. I felt like we could get in the playoffs. And then in reality, Derby a bit poo at the moment. They're at the bottom of the league. They're having a bit of a transition period with management and so on and ownership maybe. But it's a good squad. So I was happy with it. And we didn't do too much with it. I was loaned in every load of players. So this year is going to be a challenge. And I'll be honest with you, I think like the first month of the summer... I was panicking, um, but I managed to do some deals. And then once, once you, I don't know how you feel, but once I start doing a couple of deals, it seems like things get easier and things start happening. Um, we've made a couple of cheap purchases, a couple of expensive purchases, uh, a couple of loans. Um, and we've got a team I reckon could maybe stay in the Prem. We're going to find out right now. Now, I had a crack in assistant manager. Um, he'd been out of the game for 10 years and he decided after one year he wasn't getting to the Premier League he was going to retire so he retired so he needed a new one now of course I always look for Lau I like him I'm a creature of habit I don't like change I mean me and the wife are probably going to go on the same all day every year and we'd happily go to the same place if we like it eat the same food with that kind of people so I'm one of those managers you know like a Mourinho or whatever that takes his assistant with him wherever he goes so I like Philip Lau because he's not an actual assistant he's a coach who's a very good assistant and we've got a great history together I know his family I'm his daughter's godfather and he looks like someone I know so I'm very happy he's got one of them faces that's dead friendly so yeah I've got a new assistant and it is of course Sir Philip Lau here's the finances and I've done all my deals at this point as well um, we still managed to have 26 million in the bank and a little bit to spend and quite a bit of wiggle with him in the wages because we had a lot of players like Ibe, is it Wisdom, Lawrence, who was ready to go. Um, we got a bit of money for him, but it was the wages. Some of them are like 45 grand a week. So I managed to free up a lot of money that way. Um, I've made one sale that I didn't want to that I know my Scottish fans are going to be gutted about, but I had to because he wanted to go. Um, I couldn't. He wouldn't accept my contract, so... It was time for him to move on. So let's just go straight to the squad depth and try and get through this as quick as possible and talk about who's come in who have kept and my thinking behind the year. And you know, sometimes you just got to try your best and get in what you can. And I think some of these deals are okay. So as you can see, I've got two new goalkeepers. My backup was okay, but he wanted to go. And obviously, Sir David Marshall uh, had to go. And they've brought in two very experienced goalies. Number one is Fabianski, who's been to a few good clubs. We've got him from West Ham. He's 36 years old. He's Polish. We've got a couple of Polish lads here now. I think we've got three. But, I mean, he's decent. Good reflex. He's still got good ability and experience at an international level. So, I was happy with that. We've also bought Darren. I always want to say Rudolph. I know it's not. It's Randolph, but it's because it's Christmas time. Uh, he's 34. He's Irish and a very good keeper as well. He's come from West Ham. Now we're on to the back four. Um, and I've made some decent deals here. Again, I've gone, I've looked at teams that have gone down. So from Villa, we've got this centre-half, who is now my best centre-half. And he's English. I really want to go for strong English players if I can develop my own English players because I can't be asked for work permits. But I think it's a lot easier this year. feels really good to sign good English players. Now, it says he's a right back, but come on. He's naturally a centre-half. and he's got, So he's going to play on the right-hand side of my defence. Now, we ain't got a face yet. I might get round to it. I might not, but I've had him before in previous games. And I think he's a very good young English player who might have a career at City. They seem to loan him out. He's probably not ready for them, but I think for us, he'll be great. Backing him up are two guys from last year. Um, one is Bel Bielik, one of the Polish guys. I like Polish people, work with quite a few. They always seem like grumpy faces. They've got grumpy faces. They sound miserable, but if you actually talk to them, they're funny as anything. They've got a mint sense of humour. Polish people. I really like him. Um, so yeah, he's Polish. And we've got Evan still, who's a decent, handy little player. Then we back up centre-halves. Now, left back, I'm going to show you this, because he's one of our good young players from Derby. One of our own. And I'm giving him a chance this year to really shine in the Premier League. And I'm happy with that. But he needed a new backup, and I think I picked up a decent one. Yeah, West Ham are in a fire sale, man. Got every, all the players out in the front of the garage trying to sell them to anyone. 
because they got relegated, didn't they, to the championship. Aaron Cresswell, who I still, I at 31, is a half-decent player. He's played for his country a few times. It cost me 1.3 million. He's only on 20 grand a week. Uh, he's not as great as he used to be. But he's a backup. At right back, we've got a new boy here, and I'm buzzing with this. Now, this is going to cost, this guy's going to cost me about 15 million, but I broke it up. They wanted more. I went back to him with a counter offer, and I had a player, if you're a Derby fan, you'll know, he's called Jordan Brown. Now, he'd lost trust in me. His contract had not long left. He wouldn't sign a new deal. He was unhappy. But I was going to keep him because he had max potential. But when I went into talks with them, and this is what I like about this new game, they came back with another counter offer saying, okay, we'll accept the split up finances if you give us Jordan Brown. So they've took my good youngster, who was angry with me anyway, didn't like me. And I've got Max Harron, who I think's a bit ahead of him. So great deal, I think. His backup is going to be Musa Wagyu. Wagyu. Ragu. Sounds like the sauce. Uh, he's a cracking little player, isn't he? Got him on loan from Barcelona. Let's move forward. And to be honest, I want to give Ronaldo a chance at defensive midfield. But he's, you know, he's going to have people, you know, trying it out. Now, he's he has only got one year left on his deal. This is his last season. He won't sign a player contract deal, only a staff deal. So I'm not doing that yet because I want him to play. He's having one last hurrah. It's Wayne. He's a beast. Now, I've got a lot of players really now in the middle that can play in different positions. Like Knight there, who can also play out on the left and probably will be a backup left winger-ish uh, and also play quite an attacking role in the middle. He's a decent little player. I like him a lot. We've got Sibley as well, who again is one of our own, I think. Loads of potential. He deserves a crack in the Premier League. He's only 19 years old. Now, I've made this signing uh, from Leicester, Kieran... Kieran Dewsbury Hall um, cost me about 10 million eventually. Now we're 14. But he was at Leicester. Leicester got relegated. Now they had loads of great players you can't afford. But I saw him just thought, I want to do this. I want to try and give guys like this who could be something good a chance in the Premier League. Let's try and build a team of young Englishmen, mainly, and see if we can do anything. So I have got some decent players, you know, and some more youth to back that up, like Max Bird, I think, and so on. So I'm happy with that. Going forward, though, I think we look good because we've done a record fee here. Uh, I know he's a striker attacking left and that's where I want to play him really. It's Ollie Watkins, obviously he was at Villa. They've gone down. Now he's cost me 35 million, but only, I only give him 10. The rest of it is internationals, goals, appearances, add-ons, percentage of next sale, all that stuff. And I think he's a decent player. He had an okay season last year. Obviously got relegated. He's only 25. He's the best player I could get in that position and I think he'll make us better. Over on the right, we've still got Kamil Jozowiak. Yeah, the other Polish, the third Polishman. He's only 23 and a great little player. So he was with us last year. He's staying here this year. He's going to be on the right-hand side. Uh, we've got Wagamama or Wagahorn or whatever his name is. He can play up front on the wing. So we've got we've got options, man, to do stuff. We're just not worldies. You've probably seen it already. It is Adam Hyde. Um, what did he cost me? It cost me 12.5 million flat out. So I was happy with that. But like, look at his record there. 12 games for Norwich, no goals. 33 goals in 43 games for us. He was the best goal scorer in the league last year. And I know he's not a world beater, but he's a good young little player. He's only 20, can still improve. He knows that he knows us now. He likes Darby. So can he do it in the Prem? If he gives me 10 goals, I'd be happy. So, of course, you go up a level, your staff drops a bit. Um, we've managed to get a few more coaches in, I think, and we've got a new assistant as well. It's not the best. I'd like it to be better, but I still think it's better than most of the league. Hopefully, we can do well with it. I need to sort the scouts out because I really want to start scouting this year because, fingers crossed, I want to stay in this league. That's obviously the minimal aim, minimum aim, but I want to go down this young English player route. And they're probably thinking, boo, you did it with West Brom. I know, but I don't know. It doesn't mean you're going to do it again. Um, I, mean, I think I stayed up with West Brom and finished 13th in my West Brom series. Um, I won't spoil it if you haven't seen that, what happens in my second season in the Prem. I mean, I, I like the tactic. It plays good footy. It really, really does. Um, the strikers usually score goals. It makes certain players better than maybe they should be. And I've got a good, I've got a good little, little young team here. I have. But it's going to be hard, man. I just think there's some teams that are better than maybe. I don't know. You never know, do you? You have to just kick on and try your best. So pre-season went okay. Started off a bit bad, then went pretty good. We didn't play anyone massive. We had training camp in Portugal, so we played a few local teams. And then we upped over the border. 
went a cheeky tour of Spain. I didn't want us to get pounded. I wanted him to build confidence, score goals. Yeah, at this point, we've played five games. Uh, and unlike West Brom, we didn't start well against the big team. So I got beat off United 3-1. Got battered off Liverpool, although Ida scored, which is nice. Drew in Newcastle, which was great. Ida got two. So he's still scoring goals for me, which is interesting. Um, first point. That was... I have no idea, but look who scored. Uh, and then we played Sheffield United, and look who scored again. Look at that. That's my front three. Dangerous. Who needs Neymar, Messi, and Suarez? Ronaldo, Rooney, and Tevez. You don't, do you? You want Watkins, Jozzy Wackyak, whatever his name is, and Adam Ida. So, yeah, um, pretty happy with that. Got a tough run. Every game's tough. That's what I stay in the league. By the 1st of January, we're still doing all right. We're not embarrassing ourselves, although we're only two points off the drop zone. And if I'm honest, we kind of spent a lot of time in 17th and 18th. We've been dip out, in, out, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. So, yeah, um, I haven't got a granty this time either, like I had at West Brom on my other series. Um, but we've got Adam Ida, and he is not shy. He is definitely a player that can do a job in the Premier League. So 15th is great at the halfway point. But it's too tight. I mean, it's tight either way, really. I mean, one win and some results can send us up towards 12th, 11th. A result the wrong way could put us right into that bottom three. And look at Spurs again. I keep saying this. Why is Spurs so bad on this game? I don't get it. But you know, we were straight out against Rotherham in the Caribbean Cup second round. Forget that. That's kind of a, a bonus, really. A Billy bonus, really. Because we don't have to worry about cups it's all about the league and we need to because look at that yeah been beat drew with brighton that's the kind of team we need to be beating bottom of the league uh tottenham are below us got beat off them ain't great is it um managed to beat wolves been beat off city no idea what happened in that game mr ollie watkins is a hero drew with everton so we're picking up a few points getting beat off brentford again that's the kind of games i'm looking at thinking that that's going to cost us man they need to be winning that. Beat Burnley. Got beat again. Got beat again. It's enjoyable though. Getting beat a lot is quite fun. This is way more fun when you're trying to build some out and out. Um, managed to pick up some points by beating Southampton and the mighty West Brom. Um, but I've got bad of fast and we just lost to Fulham, who we're going to be playing today in the FA Cup. It's not easy, is it? But you know what? It's Like I said, it's enjoyable. Because something like this, if you actually do get to the point where you're successful, you, you feel better for it, don't you? Um, and we're picking up enough points, but got to get us about a 40-point mark, haven't we? Now, here's my squad, arranged by average rating. We haven't got a lot of greens, but you're not going to have a team like this. Uh, Fabianski, though, great goalkeeper. He's trying his bloody best to uh, keep us in it. Conzo, or Conza, sorry. Uh, he's not done a bad job either at centre-half. He's a fantastic pickup. Uh, and then there's Adam Ida, goal every other game, which, you, you know, is good for a kid. First time in the Premier League, he's only 20. Do you know what I mean? I'm happy with that. I was happy with 10 goals at the end of the season, so that's halfway. If you can get five more, that'd be pretty good. Six, seven, maybe. Um, but as you can see, I've been playing Rooney. Where is he? Rooney's been playing as a defensive midfielder. He's doing all right. He has flashes of brilliance. Just not under, he has lost it, though, hasn't he? Let's, let's not lie. Um, Ollie Watkins. I know his average ratings don't look great, but he's a great player on that pitch. Um, and there's Josie Wakiyaki. He's not bad either. So, yeah, I mean, with Derby, I've not got world beaters, but we've got a team here that's got, like, the skeleton or something good. Also, it's funny, his money does go up, doesn't it, in the Prem? It's Money Bags League. So, yeah, stay in this league, I think I think we'll be all right. And I'm trying, I'm trying to scout for good young English players. We also managed to get the facilities improved, which, again, is great. You always want to try and get, get your club better. Anyway, you can, don't matter how long you're going to put into a series, try and do everything you can. Everything's an advantage, so hopefully we can have a good youth intake. That'll be for next year. And for anyone who's watching my West Brom series, this is Carlin Grant, the guy who's won the Golden Boot two years running by scoring 30-plus goals a season. Two years without me, though. He scored eight last year and two in nine this year. He is by no, nowhere near the same player. So is it my tactic? I don't know. Well, after they beat us in the league, we played them straight away in the third round of the FA Cup and they beat us again 2-1. So, nah, not bothered. <laughs> You don't want to lose, but it is a kind of a blessing in disguise, isn't it? Go straight out of the cups, first time of asking, and put all our resources, fitness, into the league. Well, by April 1st, 
we were mid table on the old 40 point mark so that's pretty good isn't it bit of a turnaround are they starting to gel starting to get to know each other which is always an happy bonus and we're above Leeds and Tottenham and a few other good teams come on West Brom bottom three so reverse the dates uh, the Liverpool game was the first game after we got knocked out of the FA Cup so we got beat by them and then beat by United then we battered Newcastle Adam Ida legendary game got beat off Leeds but Leeds are good on here and then recently, we've just been playing well, like things are clicking, scoring goals, keeping clean sheets, uh, beating Sheffield United, Brighton, Spurs, Wolves, City, but me, uh, beating Chelsea 3-1 with Watkins and Ida, young Englishman, love it, uh, beat Everton 1-0, I've just been beat off Burnley, which is disappointing, toughish running, but I mean, Arsenal, that's it, the rest of them are winnable games. We've carried this kind of form on. There's a lot of points I reckon we can get from them games. And we're 11th. So I definitely think things started to click. And if we look at the main squad as well, you can see average ratings when they're up. Players are starting to really kick on this second half of the season. Adam Ida has got 18 goals in the Prem. Great little pickup. 12 and a half million or something. Great little buy. Um, obviously, there's a few people miffed. Darren Cresswell, but you were never going to play. He wasn't. Ollie Watkins is out, which is not good. Because that front three of mine, I think, can be quite exciting at times. And it's why we're 11th in the Prem. So he's out for a while, to be fair. Um, oh, we've got some good players here. Some good young players. People like Jewsbury Hall. All right, he's not setting the world on fire, but he, he does a job. Rooney in his last year does a job. I just wish he'd score. That'd be quite nice. So then, let's jump towards the end of the year, see where we finish up. I'm going to have a cheeky little live comp. Money's on the up. Uh, as you can see, Adam Eider is my top goal scorer. My best player is Fabianski, my goalkeeper. 36 years old, he is tidy, uh, his Polish compatriot, he's got the most assists, Taylor Handel Bellis is the best passer of the ball, playing as a ball playing defender, love it, um, can't, can't lie, we're 10 points above West Brom in 18th, we're going to stay up here aren't we, let's look at the last six games very quickly and let's see if we're trying to throw it all away. Our lovely mid-table position. Well, we started to by getting beat off Palace 1-0. Brentford 1-0 at home, which really angered me. Then we got a bit of Bournemouth. All these games are said that they're winnable. Nah. Then we bounced back from all those defeats. <laughs> all that red uh, with a great win here um, against Southampton 5-1. And then a draw against the mighty West Bromwich Albion 1-1. Finishing up with a game on TV, away at Arsenal that we drew 2-2. This is like three points to me. Very happy with this. Before we go any further, there's one signing I forgot to talk about. I signed him at the start of the season. I wanted a backup right winger. Um, and we picked up Jed for about six million quid. Now, I know he's not young, but he's not old. He was English. Um, and I liked a lot about his game. Totally forgot about him. Um, because he's been mainly a sub player. And he played a bit more towards the end of the season when the Polish lad was injured. Um, so yeah, we did sign Jed at the beginning. I made no January transfer signings. So this is the Premier League going into the final day. And uh, yeah, I can't see Liverpool losing that. United need to win about 10-0. And um, that's not going to happen. But we were 11th and we could drop all the way down to 16th. That could happen, couldn't it? It could. Couldn't it? Look how tight it's been. It's been brilliant. I love nail-biting close you know, hard for positions in the league because we're playing Fulham, the team that beat us already in the league and knocked us out the cup. And they've got Philippe and Zaggy as their bloody manager, top player. Um, you know, we're not going to get relegated, but it'd be nice to try and get high up as we can purely for prize money. Higher up you go, the more money you get. Welcome to Craven Cottage. Um, and welcome to the team sheet. Now, obviously, there's a few changes today. Ollie Watkins is going to be playing up front. Adam Ida isn't fit, got Rooney in the bench, so don't worry about that. Um, so there's a few changes. Um, George Evans is playing today um, because of basically fitness issues. It? It's end of the season, isn't it? It's been bloody tough. Here we go. We've got to see if Craven Cottage is finished. I do like that little touch. When you start the game and you play there, three stands are under construction. I um, have to keep an eye out for that. Wayne Rooney is his last potential game. I will be giving him a, a goodbye no matter what the result is. He will get on the pitch because it is his last game. He definitely doesn't want to sign a player contract. Which is weird because... On FM20, I had him a few times. He'd have two years at Derby and then he'd leave on a free and I'd usually get a year out of him. I had him at Rostock. I had him at Palermo. Ooh. Is he straight red? But yeah, first half's coming to a close, really. There's not been a lot happening. Nothing, really. In the rain. But it is what it is. It is Stefanovic. Nice little pass to Mitrovic. 
can he do out with it? He's holding it up, waiting for someone to come and help him. Trying to take on the whole team. Good cross. Why is he in the open? Why was no one on him? That was a bit a bit poor. Yeah, 1-0 down, but it is what it is. We've dropped down to 14th at the minute. Like I said, we're, we're safe and it's half time. Not the best game. But like I said, we've got now to really play for. I just thought, hopefully we can have a bit of fun with a live com. At the minute though, it ain't no fun. I've made no changes, but come on boys. They've only got 10 men. Uh, and let's go attacking. At 60 minutes, we'll make some changes. Go attacking. Here's Wallace. Tied a little squad player. Good head. Hit the cross. Is that the crossbar? Now, just in case you don't watch my West Brom series, um, I will be doing a custom series pretty soon. A long, long storied custom series with a story behind it. It should be fun. A team we can all get behind. Shirts will be getting sold. It'll be amazing. Um, that should be starting in about a week from now, week and a half. Around the Christmas time, I will have two copies of FM21 to give away. So we're going to run a little competition. Hopefully, two people who really need it can win it. Um, obviously you've got to be in it to win it so just keep your eye out for the new series keep your eye out for the giveaway if you really want to copy and hopefully you'll win and hopefully we'll not get our ass kicked but that's not happening uh, I've made two changes Ollie Watkins going on the left Wayne Rooney's gone up top he hasn't played up front for a very very long time but he's going to finish his career the way it started as a superb striker uh, I've given him a, a bit of an ass kick him turned him into a well told him to attack more Try and get a goal in the last few minutes. I don't think that'll happen. But like I said, it is what it is. I like Wayne Rooney have scored. A little worldy. A wonder strike like he did in the last one. That would have been fun. Let's see though. One last hurrah. Here we go. Three minutes of injury time. We've got about a minute and a half left. They're looking for Wayne. Everyone's looking for Wayne. Oh, what a shot. Good effort. We've hit the woodwork twice, haven't we? And there you go. Last game of the season. We've got to beat away against Fulham. But Fulham have already beaten us twice. That's three times this year. Well done to them. Um, but it's what it is. We're still in the Prem. And then we go one final look at the Premier League. We did finish 13th, which is very strange because in my first season with West Brom, we just finished 13th. Got a bit higher in my second season. Can I do the same? I don't know. I've signed different players. I want to go down a different route. We'll see. I'm happy to stay in the Premier League and build until all this is the rebuild. So this, I want this to go on for a good few seasons. So we'll see what happens with that. Liverpool won the league. West Brom... Palace and Brighton have gone down. And fair play to Everton. They've just won the FA Cup against my beloved Man United. So Man United missed out. Look at that team as well. This is my squad and the highlighted players are the contracts that are going to be running out. Obviously, we've got three players on loan. Uh, and some guys obviously are going to be going, I reckon. Free up a bit of money. They're not the greatest players. But as a squad, I'm really proud of them. And probably even more proud than I was on my West Brom. Um, series because I didn't expect as much. We've got a couple of good players and a couple of players we promise. I'm just buzzing because I really thought, especially with the way the season started flirting in and out of the relegation zone, I really thought we'd be in trouble. But look at some of that potential, which I know is relative to wherever you are. But we've got some good players here, a lot of, a lot about them that could become good if they get that chance. So there we have it, that is the end of Season 2, Episode 2. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and maybe even become a patron. Thanks for all the support, the comments, the views, everything, the thumbs up. It means the freaking world to me. So I hopefully got to cram all that in. It is hard with the rebuilds because you're doing season by season. Hopefully I've got enough information in there for you to enjoy it. And hopefully you're going to come back for the third season, which will be out in a good few days. Got to get playing through it. But thanks as always. Keep your eye out, like I said, for my new custom series. We're making a new custom club because we'll be giving away two games, two copies of FM21. So as always, thank you. I hope you're happy. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I'm booed. I'll see you next time.